first one is a distance on a number line. Okay, so we're going to use the formula distance AB is equal to the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. So we simply plug in the coordinates. So negative 13 is the coordinate for A, minus 8 is the coordinate for B, and then just solve what we have. So we negative 13 minus 8, we get negative 21. Absolute value of that winds up equaling 21 itself. And now again, it doesn't matter. We could have gone absolute value of B minus A. 8 minus a negative 13 would have yielded the same value. 8 plus 13 is still 21. Absolute value of 21 stays the same. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter which form you use. Either one's okay. All right, for sample problem number four, um, it's the same concept, except now your answer is going to be left as an expression because you can't simplify it. Yep. When, uh, so when you combine things with the same sign, so like here technically this is negative 13 plus a negative 8, right? So when you're combining things with the same sign, you basic, the, the rule is you combine their absolute value and assign that same sign. So yeah, you, you're thinking 13 and 8 combined to be 21, add the same sign, which is a negative. And if you're combining different signs, so if you have like a negative 13 and a plus 8, now you take the difference of their values and then assign the, the sign of whatever the larger number is. So here, the difference of 13 and 8 is 5. The, the larger number has a negative, so it's a negative 5. So, yeah, however, I mean, that's how it winds up being. You're not going to use, like, absolute value necessarily to separate things. But that's just like the adding and subtracting rules. Okay. For question number 4, like I said, the distance now, it's still based on the same relationships. Absolute value of the difference of coordinates. However, now the coordinates include a variable. So absolute value of x minus a negative 2, which simplifies to, again, you subtract. Uh, subtracting is equivalent to adding the opposite. So we get absolute value of x plus 2. So that's one form of the correct answer. The other way that you could express this is you could take the difference, absolute value of the difference of coordinates written in the other direction. So negative 2 and a minus x. So you could have left it in this form. Or you could have rewritten your terms here. You could have reorganized your terms. So any of these three uh, will all be uh, valid expressions. Okay. 